Okay, let's go. Now the topic of today's lesson is advances in science and technology. So what is technology? Here are some definitions. Technology is the application of knowledge towards innovation. Second definition, technology is the practical application of knowledge in a particular area. Next, technology is a consequence of science and technology and engineering. A consequence meaning a result. Okay, technology is how people modify the natural world to suit their own purposes. The verb modify means change or readjust. Okay, here are examples of innovations that have affected modern man's life. Now, see how many of them you can identify and name. First, innovation. Next. Okay, third, innovation. So see uh, if you can identify and name these uh, innovations. Next one. Here's one more. And innovation five. This is set one. Now let's move to set two. Okay. Two. Okay, next innovation. All right, see if you can name and identify these uh, devices. Next, next one, and the last one. This is uh, set two. Okay, let's check your answers. Set one. Okay, with, this is a cellular phone. A cellular phone. Next is a laptop computer. A laptop computer. Next one is a remote control, a remote control. This is a satellite dish, a satellite dish. Next, this is a satellite TV receiver, a satellite TV receiver. Next one, of course, this is the internet, the internet. Set two, this is an electronic microscope, an electronic microscope. Next one, this is a communication satellite, a communication satellite. Next, this is a space shuttle, space shuttle. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is a robot, a robot. A robot. Good. This is a highway. A highway. Next, these are fiber optics. Fiber optics. Okay, this is reading text. The title is Technological Breakthroughs. Okay, the title of the reading text is Technological Breakthroughs. Breakthrough means uh, development or achievement or uh, a special performance in science and technology. And this is the text. Please just look at, just look at the text. This is the first paragraph. This is a uh, second paragraph of the text. This is paragraph three. Paragraph four. Paragraph 5 and paragraph 6. Now, as you can see, it is a, a six paragraph text. Now, for the moment, we're going to, to focus on the first reading task. That's reading task number one. It says survey the text and write down the names of the technological ad devices that are mentioned in it. Now, we're going to look over the text in a general way, 
meaning survey the text, and your, your, the task is to uh, name uh, the devices that are mentioned in this text. Okay? So let's look at the first paragraph. Again, the reading text, the title is Technological Breakthroughs. Now here is the first paragraph. So please don't read the whole paragraph. Just look at the highlighted words in the, in, in, in the paragraph. That is to say, have a look at the words uh, typed in red. Okay, the first one is the internet. And the next expression is cellular phones. Remember, you're going to name uh, the devices that are mentioned in this text. So far for the first paragraph. Now, second paragraph. Again, please, we are just surveying the text. We are not reading the text in detail. We're just looking over the text in a general manner. So please, again, please uh, focus your attention on uh, just the highlighted words. That is to say, the words uh, typed in red. So you can see robots, robots. Uh, it is uh, repeated many times. So I think now we have the idea of uh, the device. It is mentioned here in this paragraph. Next. This is our paragraph three. Same thing, please. Just focus on uh, the highlighted words in the text. That is to say, again, uh, words written in uh, red ink. Robot, robot. OK. Now, here is the next paragraph. Please, again, uh, focus your attention on uh, the highlighted words. It says hybrid vehicles, hybrid vehicles, hybrid vehicles. So this device is mentioned three times in this paragraph. Next, same procedure, please, same strategy. We're not reading the text for details. We're just surveying it. That is to say, having a general look at the text. So the first expression, fluorescent light bulb. It is, it is mentioned again, fluorescent light bulb. Next. Please use the same strategy, uh, the same uh, procedure, that is to say, while surveying the text, just focus on uh, the highlighted words in the text, either underlined or written in a different color. Here we have fiber optics. OK, now let's see if you could find all the, all the devices. The first one, of course, is the internet. The internet. Second device, cellular phones. Cellular phones. Next, robots. Robots. Next, hybrid vehicles. Hybrid vehicles. Okay, fluorescent light bulb. Fluorescent light bulb. And the next one, fiber optics. Fiber optics. So uh, these are uh, all the devices that are mentioned in the text whose title is uh, Breakthroughs in Science. Now let's move on to the second reading task. It says, reading task number two. It says, read paragraphs one and two and answer these questions. So we're going to read paragraph one and two. I'm going to give you uh, two questions, and then you're going to focus uh, uh, on these paragraphs to find answers for these two questions. Now here are the questions. Number one, according to the writer, what can people use the internet and cellular phones for? OK. Number two, two practical functions of robots are cited by the writer. What are they? OK, two practical functions of robots are cited in the text by the writer. What are they? Now, let's read first paragraph. Science and technology has given man so much convenience and luxury in life. In our modern world, gone are the, those days when we had to commute 
and to do the exhausting routines of applying for jobs. With the progress the world has made with the internet, anyone can apply for a job while sitting in the comfort of his own home sipping coffee. Moreover, cellular phones have made communication easier for people on the go. Okay? Paragraph two. In fact, the idea of robots has actually come into practical existence in our modern world. These robots can recognize objects by color by processing information from a camera mounted on the robot's head. In manufacturing, robots can build some things faster and cheaper than human hands. It is quite disconcerting, though, to think that robots might, in the future, control humans. So we've read paragraph one and two in order to answer two questions. Right? So let's, let's have a, a correction. So the first answer is, people can use the internet to apply for a job while sitting in the comfort of their homes. They can use cellular phones to communicate easily. So remember the question was, what can people use the internet and the cell phones for? Here is the answer. People can use the internet to apply for a job while sitting in the comfort of their homes. They can use cellular phones to communicate easily. Now here is the answer for uh, question two. Robots can recognize objects by color. This is the first function. Second function, in, in manufacturing, they can build some things faster and cheaper than human hands. Okay, the author has mentioned two practical functions for robots. Now here they are. Robots can recognize objects by color, and in manufacturing, they can build some things faster and cheaper than human hands. Now we come to reading task number three. Now the task says, read paragraphs four, five, and six, and complete each sentence with one word. Right? I'll give you a set of sentences. Now we're going to read paragraphs four and five and six, and then you're going to pick up a particular word from each paragraph to complete these sentences. This is sentence number one. Hybrid vehicles use power sources. Hybrid vehicles use power sources. You need to put in there one word. Okay, sentence two, or uh, yes, sentence two. Fluorescent light bulbs are successful conservation devices. Low flow toilets and shower heads are conservation devices. Number three, fiber optics transmit data more uh -huh, than cables. Right? We're going to read paragraphs and then uh, you focus your attention on uh, particular words to pick up in order to fill in these uh, four blanks. Okay? So let's read this paragraph. Sorry. Okay, hybrid vehicles, higher fuel prices sparked more interest in alternative fuel vehicles, and so far, hybrid vehicles carry the most favor with a growing number of co consumers willing to pay more for their cars to save money on fuel. Hybrid vehicles are those that use at least two power sources, typically gasoline and electricity. Fluorescent light bulb. As low tech as it may seem, the compact fluorescent light bulb is doing a great deal to revolutionize quality of life. It is one of the most successful energy and water conservation devices developed to date. Others include low flow toilets and shower heads. Okay, fiber optics. Advances in fiber optics very thin strands of glass that transmit light and data much more efficiently than wires and cables. 
not only improved the quality of voices transmitted over phone lines, but also made high volume phone traffic possible. Okay, do you remember? Now we have to pick up uh, special words in order to uh, complete these three sentences. Okay, these are, these are sentences again. High vehicles use power sources. Fluorescent light bulbs are successful conservation devices. Low flow toilets and shower heads are conservation devices. And number three, fiber optics transmit data more than cables. Can you correct? Yes. Hybrid vehicles use two power sources. Do you remember them? Gasoline and electricity. Next. Yes, fluorescent light bulb are successful energy conservation devices. The next one is, of course, water. Low flow toilets and shower heads are water conservation devices. The last one, yes, fiber optics transmit data more efficiently than cables. Let's read uh, them again. Hybrid vehicles use two power sources. Fluorescent light bulbs are successful energy conservation devices. Low flow toilets and shower heads are water conservation devices. Fiber optics transmit data more efficiently than cables. Now we come to uh, task number four. It says inferring the writer's attitude. All right, uh, the writer expresses his attitude towards Roberts through this statement. Of course, the writer has an attitude vis-a-vis -vis Roberts. Here he says, it is quite disconcerting though to think that Roberts might in the future control humans. Now, as I said, the writer expresses his attitude vis-a-vis uh, -vis Roberts by saying this sentence. Now, as you can see, uh, the key word here is the adjective disconcerting. Now, disconcerting means, means embarrassing. It also means disturbing. It means upsetting. And it means fear-inspiring. These, these, um, um, these are um, among uh, the four uh, meanings of the adjective disconcerting through which the, uh, the, the writer expresses his attitude towards Robert. Now, as you can see, all these adjectives have quite a negative connotation. So, do you think the writer is in favor of Robert's control over humans? Or, the writer is against the idea of Robert's control over humans? Right? So is he in favor or against the idea of one day robots control and manipulate human beings? Right? Okay, the answer is the writer is against the idea of robots control over humans. So as you, as you can see, uh, task number four, uh, we had to see, uh, to infer the writer's attitude towards robots by reading a statement in which he says, it's quite disconcerting that one day uh, uh, robots might control uh, human beings. So uh, we found out that the writer is against the idea of robots control over humans. So uh, it was a pleasure for me to give you this lesson. I'd like to thank you very much and, ha and I hope uh, to be able to see you soon. So bye bye.